I tell you, man, that shot of training with a lightsaber on a mountaintop, epic. Hi everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to Tread Talks, where I walk on this treadmill to stay in shape while making videos for you fine people. Today's video is going to be a little bit less edited and more raw than it typically is because they released the first trailer for Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi, and I wanted to watch it and share my thoughts with you. Two minutes later... <laughs> Oh, that was epic. Okay, so so many thoughts running through my head right now. First, th that was a good trailer. That was, it's not easy to make good trailers, especially for franchises or series or things that are well known and people are clamoring for something more. Because you got to give people something that feels meaningful, like they watch something that was worth their time, while at the same time not giving too much away so that it feels spoilery and I thought this trailer did an excellent job of threading that needle. Um, I love that it seems that they'll spend at least a fair amount of time on the training aspect of her actually learning to become a Jedi. That seems like it'll be a very interesting dynamic between uh, Mark Hamill and uh, Daisy Ridley and it seems like we're gonna get more Poe Dameron in the movie which is always good I can't believe they were at one point going to kill him off in a earlier draft of episode 7 but they kept him on because he works so well as a character uh, I wonder what happened with Kylo Ren after he was defeated does he you know still idolize Darth Vader has he moved on is there something else happening there I really want to see how that comes to a head and hopefully we'll get a reunion or an interaction between Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker because it looks Looks like Kylo Ren was the catalyst for whatever drove uh, Luke Skywalker into isolation. In addition to that, I think we can rest assured that the film is going to be very well directed and well shot. I think the cinematography from what we've seen already is excellent. I also thought it was interesting that they started the trailer with the same uh, kind of surprise reveal that uh, they did with the first trailer for Episode 7. In the first trailer for Episode 7, it was Finn that just jumps up and that's the first thing you see. Uh, in this one, you see Ray's hand coming down. Uh, it's an interesting, it's like poetry. It rhymes. But really what surprised me most about the trailer was at the end where uh, Luke Skywalker says it's that he knows one truth, that it's time for the Jedi to end. How the hell did he get to that point? What must have happened that it made him run away from it all, uh, to be missing from all of Episode 7, uh, to get to the point of thinking that the line of Jedi has to end? I'm thinking that in the movie this is going to come in the beginning when he and uh, Daisy Ridley, uh, when Rey, uh, are interacting and she's trying to uh, convince him and tell him about her having having uh, the powers of the Force, and he's reluctant, and he's saying, no, it's time for the Jedi to end. I want to know what happened that brought him to that point. And man, that final third of the trailer where the score really ramps up and swells, it's amazing. It wells up your emotions and it immediately connects you right back into that universe and it makes you want to see more. But this trailer I think did what trailers are supposed to do. It manages expectations, makes us optimistic, lets us know that this movie is in good hands and makes us want to see the movie without being a whole, you know, buttload of spoilers. If anything, it generates more questions than it answers. But the thing that has me the most optimistic about this movie is that it was written and directed by Ryan Johnson. I became a big fan of his when I saw the movie Looper, which he directed, and also uh, various episodes of Breaking Bad, including my favorite episode of television of all time, Ozymandias. He was the one that directed it. So I feel like this movie is in good hands, and this trailer does a good job of maintaining that optimism. Okay, so I can't wait for December to come. I'm going to be there opening night, whatever the first screening is in my area. That's the one I'm buying tickets for. I gotta have a babysitter, I guess. Anyways, things I'll figure out later. The point is, uh, hey, this trailer will only make you more excited than you were already to see episode eight. Uh, it's in good hands, it seems, for now. Okay, so this was kind of a quick spur of the moment, stream of consciousness type of video, but if you like my content and you want to keep up on future movie reviews or fitness updates, please subscribe. Either way, thanks for watching and have a great day.